Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you're all doing great so far. Before we begin, I'd like to welcome you to the channel. Make sure to hit that subscribe button for future releases on absolutely anything related to development updates, up-to-date content on what's going on at Microsoft Flight Simulator. You've come to the right place. Now, aircraft is one thing that adds so much more pleasure towards flight simming. The team of Captain Sim have been working towards the Boeing 777-200 and have finally come out with their base pack towards the simulator. The Boeing 777 have always been an exciting aircraft. An American wide-body airliner manufactured by Boeing themselves and the world's largest twin jet. Now a twin jet is a jet aircraft that is powered by two engines. The intention of this model was to connect the dots between the Boeing 767 as well as the 747. The team of Captain Sim have been a long time friend towards different platforms by producing varieties of modeled aircraft to simulators that include the prepared 3D version 4 and 5 along with FSX. It would certainly be interesting to see this side of the development at this platform due to the software development kit expectations and how well they've managed to meet those expectations aligned with the latest production. The team have been proud to include a well-detailed cockpit that is a virtual cabin which have been developed in 4K. You can expect a lot of features and the PBR textures that have been applied towards the entire aircraft. Animations are plenty according to the team that include the wing flex, 3D windows, pilots and many more. The systems have been developed in a default version to make sure that the essential functionality is similar to the ones in the 747 under the base pack. Comes with a number of liveries, looks like an essential aircraft towards a simulator. During the weeks to come, the Boeing 777-300 along with the 777 Fighter Expansion Pack will be made available towards a simulator. For now, the current pack for the 777-200 base pack is sold for $29.99 at their store. At the moment, we have heard mixed reviews of this aircraft for now. It's better you decide to buy this aircraft probably later on once we receive a bigger update once the fixes are in place as the current version has numerous issues according to many of our own team members. Hopefully, all the Boeing lovers would be pleased to set sail towards the sky sooner in the simulator. Another exciting news to share are from the studios of Just Flight who have been working towards the next installment of the Piper Arrow series. The PA-28 Turbo Arrow 3 and 4 are right now in the making. The Piper Arrow have been a favorite amongst the community which have had many versions so far making sure to refine every area of the aircraft engaging in more excitement in flight. The Turbo Arrow is a four-seater turbocharged piston engine aircraft that is equipped with a retractable tricycle landing gear and a constant speed propeller. This makes it the right companion for instrument training and tours. The aircraft was first made available in 1977 and ever since then it's been quite a popular one. Flown all over the world, it has gained more popularity that features liveries from all over the world. From the studios of PMDG comes the DC-6 for the simulator. Now this is still in the making, the Douglas DC-6 Cloudmaster, a post-war airliner that was later converted towards the use of a cargo transporter. Certainly a beautiful classic, now the model is getting prepared for its release. The studios really haven't commented towards the release date nor the progress of this beautiful bird but hopefully in the days to come we should see this beautiful bird in the skies of the simulator. Talking about the latest from Aerosoft, with the 500 and the 700 series of the CRJ, they are currently working towards the latest set of the series which are the 900 as well as the CRJ 1000. This is basically going to be an expansion pack and with the help of the community they're trying to do the level best to ensure that no bugs appear in order to complete their package. There's definitely a difference between the CRJ500-700 as well as the latest set of the series. 
While the aircraft are the same in nature, there are certainly differences as the CRJ900 are a little more stretched as it is slightly larger due to accommodating additional restrooms and more space. And in the modeling aspect of this, the progress is going well so far and the team have been transparent with the communities, getting all kinds of feedback towards further improving the jet who have been constantly posting progress screenshots, giving us an idea on what to expect. The release date for this is not yet decided, but certainly soon. If you've heard of FS Academy, they have been very supportive towards the community by introducing useful packs that can enable future pilots to get very well versed in flying. The latest announcement from them have been towards the Jetliner pack that promises you a different level of learning experiences. The IFR and VFR packs which were released months ago have been a success from this team and this Jetliner pack focuses on teaching the methods of flying under the A320. This has been a well organized effort from the team to see that the subjects under this pack are well detailed and related to making it a study level mission package. Flying is not just fun, it is essential to understand the fundamentals situations that can be different and with the help of real pilots and with a number of series of trips in this pack it can give a lot of exposure in understanding how things can actually work they have missions that can elaborate with various phases of flight from start to finish and every mission is detailed with a step-by-step -step manual which is included it comes with a 12 mission pack which will be released soon by FS Academy. Certainly lots of exciting things to happen for sure. I'd suggest you to take a look at the IFR and VFR package that can detail you all the essentials of a flight. They are a full range of missions with the basic IFR that can offer handling skills and level flights under IFR before progressing to more complex procedures. Partial panel is also included in terms of situations when you lose your primary heading and attitude instruments and learning how to perform compass turns and working around the problem. It gives us an idea of the fundamental of IFR flight by learning how to operate and understand the ADF, holding patterns, VOR approach, NBD, ILS approach, departures, navigation, circling and check ride. They have organized all this material very well which gives us a better idea behind the purpose of flying. This can give us a lot more options towards handling all kinds of instruments during flight that are necessary and what happens during different situations and how to tackle them easily. Do stay tuned for future updates for the Piper Arrow. In the meanwhile, enjoy the Boeing 777 mates and do subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet for up-to-date content on anything related to flight simming. This is your place. So until next time, take care and happy flying folks. Keep it up one more minute. Keep it up, you're so great. Standing, talking, you got me checkmate. No one's watching or nothing. I have cleared out the room, also that you can get to be the big spoon.